So hi, my name is Lydia and I am an undergraduate student doing computer science and philosophy. And over here it says, it's asking, well, what do I do in my spare time? Well, as a student in computer science, I actually like, I really like lying in bed and just talking to friends and reading and drawing and also um, eating cake. Eating cake's a big thing for me. Yeah, yeah, I think that's most of it for my spare time. Um, so, one, let's start with the first question. What is your favorite invention? Wow, okay, this is quite, this is, this is definitely a good question. Um, I mean, <laughs> I do do computer science, so computers are always something that I've always found very fascinating, but everything really, any kind of invention, most simple ones, like the wheel, for example, you know, they all can be as simple as that, or like something as complex as a computer um, or a supercomputer. But if I had to choose an absolute favorite, it might be, it might be paper, um, quite like paper. <laughs> you can do a lot with it. And I think a lot of ideas actually start from, have, from you know, someone's mind and then being jotted down somewhere. And I think it's, I think it's, it's an overlooked invention. Yeah. So there goes our first question. And second question. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? You know, if you ask any college student this, they'll all tell you, I don't know. I don't think anyone really knows the answer to this. Um, the thing about the future is that it's really unpredictable and that's totally fine. Um, it's okay to not know what you want to do. But as of now, if I think about, well, where am I today and what, I want, what is it that I really enjoy, I'd say that I would want to be in a software engineer. I really enjoy programming and I want to be sure that in my spare time, other than eating cake, I probably want to be sharing that time and lessons with other people in my community. So I would see myself as an active volunteer as well. Yeah, in addition to being a programmer. Yeah. Oh, and, a, and I'll, have, I'll have a cat probably, maybe a dog. Yeah. So third question. What advice would you now give to your, would you now give your 12 year old self? My 12, 12 year old Lydia. Um, what would I tell 12 year old Lydia? I mean, where do I start really? Uh, I, yeah, I think as you grow older, you realize that every day, every hour, every you know, minute, you're really learning something new. There are a lot of things that you're learning right now, a lot of things you've learned in the past five minutes, and I think it's, it's kind of difficult to think about the big... Well, I guess it's kind of easier now that I'm in my 20s. <laughs> but if I had to give good advice to my 12-year-old self, it would definitely be, it's okay to get an answer wrong, it's okay to make mistakes, and it's totally fine to not know things. Um, and that's the point, really. Like, you, none of us really know anything. It's impossible to know absolutely everything. But it's important that you keep asking questions. And the minute you start focusing on being right, you're going to stop wanting to learn new things because you have to be wrong or you have to not know things in order to know things. Am I making sense? I hope I am. Um, yeah, so anyway, always be open to being wrong, be open to making mistakes, and then learning from them, and, and just never stop asking questions. Yeah, so that goes my third question. Moving on to the fourth one. Who is your hero? Uh, this is also, well, these, are, these questions are really tough. Um, I think my hero, I mean, <laughs> other than my parents, I suppose. Um, another, I'm trying to think of the prominent scientists, and that could be one of you guys, one of these days. I think as a computer science student, I want to share a story with all of you. I think Grace Hopper 
was a really prominent figure in computer science. So she, um, she was a computer scientist and she actually coined the term debugging. I don't know if any of you have, have ever heard of that, but basically when we write programs um, and if a mistake, we find a mistake in there, we call it a bug. So you might hear a computer bug. And she actually came up with the term debugging because they, they used to have like massive computers and she found a moth in there, or not she, but a programming team found moth in there and they went and then took the moth out because the computer wasn't working right. And then they were like, oh, we are, we are debugging the computer, like actually taking um, a moth out, which I, thought, which I think is really cool. But obviously, other than that, she's done a lot of things. She's worked really hard to enable you know, accessibility um, when it comes to computing and allowing more people to have access to computers. Um, my professors, some of them have heard her speak, and she seems like a really wonderful person. And yeah, well, going off of that, though, I'm sure there are a lot of other scientists that I don't know of, unfortunately. And there will be more up and coming. There are more, you know, doing great research right now. And that, again, that might be you in a couple of years. So there is my answer to the fourth question. And finally, describe yourself in three words. Curious. I ask a lot of questions. I'm always interested in learning more. Um, I really enjoy meeting new people. And I think that goes along, that goes kind of hand in hand with being curious because I know that meeting new people um, will enable me to learn more. Well, that's not really a word, actually. <laughs> um, so I would go with um, friendly, yeah. The second word would be friendly. And finally, uh, what's my third word? Um, uh, indecisive. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, no, making, making a decision is quite difficult because everything's so exciting to me. Yeah, indecisive, enthusiastic. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that, that would be my three words. And that's the five questions that I have here. And finally, I, just, I suppose to conclude, STEM really is for everybody. I did not start considering um, doing STEM until much later, actually throughout high school. I only, it was only in high school that I decided to do it. And I really do think anyone can do it. You do not have to be a specific kind of person. There is no one kind of computer scientist, one kind of chemist, one kind of physicist. Um, and STEM is super broad. You know, like you, you can go out there, do what you want, find what you enjoy. It really is for everybody. Yeah, so thank you.